Hello there, and as usual, I'm Aaron from Last Day Gamers, and welcome. So today, we're looking at another interesting weapon system that I've been messing around with after the introduction of the GPS navigation for small and large ships. And we're up here at the red ship, and you can see in the distance down there, we've actually got a cruise missile launching site. And we're going to go through a little bit of the design idea behind this today, and how you can get these to strike both ships and stations quite accurately. Now it's a little bit harder of course to hit a moving ship so this is why these are really prioritised that static ships may be in port or maybe a station that could be on the far reach as an early sort of strike. Now these missiles are not designed to break through defences, they're really relying heavily on that the defence has been taken out by your fighters or previous weapon systems that you've actually launched. So as we come down here to the missile silo you can see we've got two large silos, we've got an antenna so we can communicate with the missiles and I'll begin to actually open up these silos themselves so there we go then open that up you can see the iris door is going to reveal the missile underneath now these missiles are really simple in design and the idea is to cut costs as much as possible when it comes to blocks so we've got mainly metal we've got limited amount of thrusters i believe we've got one thruster on each side and you can see we've got an antenna going down the long side of the ship there and we've got a very heavy payload of warheads going up the side so this thing should really make a boom when it impacts that side of that ship over there so let's actually try and launch this thing so coming down to gps coordinates you could easily get the gps coordinates of a ship or an enemy maybe in a pre-war time where you go for sort of a peace talk with the enemy and as you're walking around make sure you mark gps coordinates so i've got two launch silo points so that'll allow it to clear the silo and then i've got two target locations i've marked from the red ship over there and i've used that just to manage to get inside and mark them but at a time of war it might be a little bit harder to do so unless it's a static sort of station where you could go in there and just say oh we're all friendly now and then the next minute you fire a missile at them so let's actually begin by launching one of the two missiles so we're going to go into this door we're going to select missile one we go to the remote control block and this is richly how simple it is you tick the autopilot block and you'll notice it comes colliding out the actual silo itself it reaches the optimal angle for actually tilting and launching it tilts towards the target and now it should be fired at quite a velocity to well the actual target itself you can see it's picking up speed and this one looks like it's aiming it towards the engine bay so this is just really cool now it's speeding up then I get that higher velocity and even if you wanted these to do a little bit different thing at any time you could grab control using the remote control block oh this looks like it's going to be a good shot on the side of that engine bay let's see what it does and damage wise Oh, there we go. Look at that. Absolutely cleaned house on that second engine bay over there. Let's return down and launch the second missile itself. Now, using a station like this, you could continually build missiles by having a projector or a 3D sort of printer system in each silo. So as you launch one, you could print another missile pretty much instantaneously and launch that as well and really put a lot of firepower down on the enemy. So let's actually launch missile two and we'll go over there, missile two. And we need to find the remote control block. So remote control block has been located. Tick the autopilot and it should fly itself out of the actual silo. There we go. Perfect. Get to that optimal angle. Tilt and aim towards that ship. There we go. Beautiful. Now it just needs to pick up its speed and pulse. This one looks like it's aimed towards the front of the ship because it's following target one. These uh, intentionally making them for actual stations would be a lot easier to target them because you could work out the grid coordinates where a moving ship would be really hard and that's why I've come up with this idea maybe for a mod or maybe for a further development thing with using the laser antenna to mark targets like a laser designator of form. So this one's going to hit and there we go we've took out pretty much the whole of the front of that ship so they're really devastating these soft cruise missiles as they lock onto them GPS coordinates. Now I'll talk to you a bit about this sort of laser antenna theory that I thought might work so antenna if we can find that actually let's type in laser not many things got laser in so the laser antenna itself at the moment can be used to transmit messages secretly between outposts but imagine if it had a second purpose so if we just place one down there imagine if we could control that laser point it at a target and we could get the exact GPS coordinates of whatever we point that laser at. Now, if that was introduced by the developers or even just introduced as a mod, that would make these cruise missiles able to actually track onto moving ships as they go past and just make the uh, constantly updating GPS system. It'd be, it'd be absolutely crazy. But anyway, they're just some ideas and inspiration. And maybe we'll see you with your own sort of missile silos firing these out the side of a smaller asteroid at passing ships or even a station off in the distance. So I'd like to thank you guys for watching and I will see you next time.